The Spot Healing Brush Tool can do a lot more than just remove imperfections and blemishes in your photo. So today I thought I'd shine a spotlight of what the Spot Healing Brush Tool can actually do so you can add it to your editing workflow. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Photoshop. And you want to use the same photo that I'm going to be using today, go ahead to the link in the description. Right, let's go ahead and open up the Spot Healing Brush Tool. So what we'll do is go open up Photoshop and drop down to the left hand side. You'll see this little icon here, J on your keyboard if you want to know the shortcut, and go ahead and select it. This is our Spot Healing Brush Tool. Now the Spot Healing Brush Tool has three ways that we can remove areas in our photo. Firstly, let's explain what the Spot Healing Brush Tool actually does. Basically, it's a really handy way of removing small spots, blemishes, and imperfections on your photo by using either Content Aware, Create Texture, or Proximity Match. And depending on what one works best, or depending on what situation you are in. So if we go over right up to the top, you've got, you can see in type, you've got Content Aware, Create Texture, and Proximity Match. Now, Content Aware kind of says what it does on the tin. What it will do is it will recreate pixels within the sample area you've just made. So what it will do is it will create brand new pixels. Really good if you want to remove slightly larger areas. Let's say a ship in the sea, or let's say a climber climbing up a mountain, you want to remove that, it will do it really well for you. So let's go ahead and zoom in and give it a go. So we've got this kind of blemish or kind of freckle. Let's go ahead, select, hold, create an area like so. The black area is sampled and then release. And what it will do is basically Photoshop will recreate pixels in that chosen area. Now, let's go ahead and move on to create texture. Create texture is similar. But what it will do is it will recreate the texture while leaving the color alone. So let's go ahead, remove this freckle, click, hold, make an area, remove. And what it will do is you can see it has removed or recreated the texture, but it's left the color alone. Now this, to be honest, doesn't really work well for most situations. I've never really used Create Texture, because what it will do is it'll recreate the texture, but leave the color. And you kind of want everything to be replaced, to be honest with you. It might work if you're replacing things in the sky. Let's say you've got some dust on your sensor, you want to remove some dust. It may work in that situation, but to be honest, I've never really found a way that Create Texture works in my workflow. So to be honest, I really usually leave that one alone. And then lastly, it's the one that I use the most, which is proximity match. Now proximity match is similar to the clone source tool. What it will do is it will copy and paste pixels from the surrounding area from the area you've selected. So let's go ahead and find a new freckle. Uh, let's choose this one here, click, hold, create an area and then release. But what it will do is it will sample the area directly around it, directly around the proximity and then copy and paste those pixels in. So it's similar to Content Aware, but it will do is it will copy and paste and it's gonna recreate pixels. So in that specific way, if there's a lot of busyness around it, it won't necessarily work, and that's where content work will work better. But if you want to make it a little bit more subtle, like for instance with freckles, remove the big ones, but keep leave the small ones, the proximity match might work well. I find it works well when removing spots and blemishes, especially if they're quite small, because you can sample the area directly around it, and you end up with a slightly better result. One last thing I want to talk about is mode. So you've got mode here, and you can basically choose what one you want. So you've got color, if you just want to copy and paste color, just copy and paste luminosity, and then you've also got a bunch of modes here available. So what I recommend doing is experiment, see what works best for you. Personally, I find content aware and proximity match works best, but you never know, create texture might be the one for you.